Epilogue, Monday. I still can't believe I have a daughter and you didn't tell me. I can't believe my daughter joined the Time Force and didn't tell me. Time Force, Time Police. I can't believe you got fired and chose to go into the future. Why didn't you tell me? You didn't have to go ahead 30 years. You could have moved into my house for a while. I was embarrassed. Plus, I don't want to ruin your life. You could never ruin my life. Except by tampering with the time machine. That was stupid. You're telling me. I had no idea they could be configured to go backwards in time. I thought I was stranded here in the past. Yeah, we keep that secret on purpose. If people knew the time travel to the past was possible, we'd have a lot more work on our hands. I'm still not sure how you managed to get access to the time machine's code, though. It's supposed to be impossible for people to access. Maybe because we're related and I'm on the time police. I'll, I'll look into it when we get back. Are you, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I got rid of all the evidence of my existence here in this timeline. What about the secret note that you left for your past self? How did you know about that? I've been on the time police for three years. People always leave a secret note that only their alternative self can discover. Okay, fine. I'll get rid of that too. Hasn't he already changed the timeline a lot, though? I mean, we just stopped Big Bite. I've got the report here on my phone. Donnie Gore, the leader of Big Bite, was arrested for illegal experiments on cats. Police are still investigating the explosion. And according to this report, three days from now, they'll decide the explosion was a result of the unpredictable lab experiments. Donnie is arrested and sent to a psychiatric care by... That's one of my pseudonyms. Okay, Future Me is going to follow through with this and keep Donnie away. Safe where he can't do any harm. So, there won't be a great shutdown in this timeline? Guess not. And that won't destroy time as we know it? Hopefully not, as you make sure to never tell anyone anything. I promise, just tell me one thing. What? Who's your mother? Um, are you sure you want me to spoil it for you? It's Shannon, your co-worker at the pizza place. Shannon, she's, uh... I don't know all my co-workers' names. Most of them quit within a month. Which one is she? The snarky teenager? The one with the weird tattoo? Don't tell me it's the pizza roller with the track doughs all over the place. Dad, don't mess with yourself like that. Sorry. Sorry. That was a joke? Yeah, sorry. I'm not going to tell you who Finley's mother is. That ruined the supplies. But I can tell you that it's not one of your co-workers. Oh, thank goodness. Wait. I don't have co-workers anymore. I got fired from the pizza delivery job. So, what? You hated that job. Yeah, but now I'm broke. Finley took all my money you made on the stock market. I had to confiscate the money because it was evidence of the time police. Plus, I have to pay off for all those pizzas I ordered. <sighs> I'm totally going to ground you for this in 30 years. Hmm. Uh, I have a point. Can't you use your time travel magic to get my job back? That'd be against time police procedure. But hey, think of it like this. At least you're the pizza delivery boy who saved the world. Guy. What? Pizza delivery guy who saved the world. I'm not a boy. Ugh, yeah. I don't want people to call me boy. I'm clearly an adult. Okay, fine, whatever. You're the pizza delivery guy who saved the world. The point is, you did a really good thing that you should be really proud of. And, besides, I heard the seafood place on Main Street is hiring. I could become a seafood delivery guy. Sweet. You like seafood that much, huh? 
Sounds fishy to me. Hey, it's a step up from pizza delivery, and I'll take it. Right. Anyway, we should get going. Goodbye, Husky. It was nice meeting you. It was nice meeting you, too. Come back and visit me anytime. Seriously, any anytime. I never have any visitors. Good luck, Husky. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. I mean, I know you can't do that, but whatever. You know what I mean. I do. Bye. I have a picture of pizza on my wall. Well, now. Well, now that's over. I think I'll celebrate by never eating pizza again. After nine straight months of nothing but pizza, I'm sick of it. I have no words. Give me a minute, my throat is still... Um, that was a lot of talking for me to do. That was... That was a lot. It was it was fucking hilarious. I really enjoyed it. It was a fun time. Um, but yeah, that was that was a lot of uh, of uh, of talking to do myself. Um, good story, actually. Funny, funnily enough, it was actually a really funny story. Um. I, I, yeah, I have. I want pizza now. I'm gonna go get me some pizza. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm gonna go get me some pizza right now. That's what I'm gonna do. So, um, <laughs> what did you guys think of how ridiculous this was? Hopefully, you guys all liked it as much as I did. I thought it was fucking hilarious. Um, and just a good time, nonetheless. So, uh, I'm 100% gonna go get some pizza now, right now, though. So, Thank you all for stopping by and watching this series. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did playing it. And as always, depending on where you are, morning, afternoon, and night, so from stay safe and we we'll talk to y'all later. Bye. I genuinely can't wait to wear some pizza right now. I am fucking starving. That was the most ridiculous fucking thing. Okay. Hi, I'm a Husky. It's been six months since I saved the world and my life has really turned around. I've got a great new job, a new apartment, and I even have a blind date tonight. I met her online. Her name is Peppa Roni. And we have so much in common. For one thing, we both love bird watching, Which I've been getting into lately, since I have a lot more free time on my hands. I don't even mind that her profile picture is just her cat. And I have no idea what she actually looks like. It's just a cute cat, at least. The one problem is that she wants to go out for pizza. And she has a specific place in mind. A place I promised myself I would never go to again. Welcome to Pizza Proud. Uh, Proud of Pizzas, or uh, whatever this place is called. It's Proud City Pizza, Mike. You should really know that by now. Whoa, how do you know my name? I used to work here. Remember? Huh. You don't look familiar. We work together every Friday. I even came to your paintball party. Here, let me jog your memory. No, you can't take a two hour break. What's going to hell? Deliver your pizzas. Oh, right. You're the whiny one. Too bad you don't work here anymore. Stealing your orders was so easy. Nice to see you too, Mike. 
I really enjoy not having to put up with your constant complaining anymore. Please tell me you're not here to try to get your old job back. I actually have a new job. With an engineering. Uh, <sighs> yeah, whatever. Firm the mass produces fasteners to solar panels that... Bored. Leaving now. Uh, okay. I knew coming back here was a mistake. Ah! Get the phone, you lazy moron! But I don't even work here. I'll get it. Hello? Huh. There's no one there. Guess it was the wrong number. Finley? What are you doing here? What? I'm not Finley. My name is Cherry. Right. Of course you're not Finley. She went back to the future. You do look a lot like her, though. <gasps> That's it. You must be her mom. That means we're gonna fall in love and get married and have a daughter who looks just like you. Wow, I can't believe I met my future wife at a pizza store. Who would have thought? Dude, you're seriously freaking me out. I'm going back to the kitchen. Aren't I here with a date right now? Oh, alright then. Um, excuse me. Well, if she isn't my- if she's not my future wife, I guess I should look around for my date. Then I wonder, where is she? Hello? Down here? Is somebody talking to me? Hi! Um... Hello? Did that cat just talk to me? Are you husky? I'm supposed to be meeting a husky here. My name is Peppa Roni. Just when I thought this couldn't get any more ridiculous. This cat is my date? Wait a second. Okay. Is everything okay? Do you need a warm saucer of milk? What, what have we done? 